So in this video today, we are going to be looking at a Samsung LCD and how to diagnose if you have a bad main or a bad power supply. This particular power supply is the BN440197A and this is a high voltage power supply. So it has these two high voltage leads that go out to the inverters and it has a couple of connections that go to the main board. If your power supply looks different, we're going to look at how to check those power supplies too, but it will be a little bit different from this one. So this video is for if you have no standby or if you have standby but the TV won't power on and also if you have no backlights, kind of covers a lot on this one. So in order to try and figure out what, where the problem lies, we're going to go ahead and disconnect the main board by undoing the two cables from the power supply. We're then going to use some jumpers to force the power supply and the backlights to turn on and then we'll know if the backlights come on and the voltages are all present that the power supply is good. Now in this case I've just got some jumper wire. You can also use resistors. Uh, sometimes it's a little bit safer to put a resistor in there but straight wire will work too. Okay and you can see here we've got a little diagram showing the pinouts, the connector. And you see that pin 1 is going to be the power on off and down to pin 3 is our 5 volt standby and those are the two pins we have to jump up. And on these connectors, because they're double row pins, they mark pin 1, that little triangle right there. And on these it goes pin 1, 2, 3, 4, and it goes back and forth. So we know that pin 1 is going to be the first pin, and pin 3 is going to be the next pin up from it. So we can go ahead and follow that brown wire down. We know it's going to be on this side. And we can take our jumper wire into the first hole and the one right above it pins one and three and there's that nice thing is if you have the insulated wire as well you don't really care if it falls over and where it lands because it won't short out if you have bare wire be careful that it doesn't touch the metal chassis because otherwise you could short out which could be bad and then on the second connector you can see it's got the 5 volt detect line and the inverter on off and that's pins 1 and 5 and it's going to be the two outside pins so you don't need to worry about these just go into the two outside holes jump that like so and again we have insulated cables so we don't care about where it lands and we can go ahead and plug in power and see what happens So if your backlights are working correctly, you're going to see the white light shining through the empty holes in the back of the TV. Uh, this light should turn on pretty much immediately, there shouldn't be any real delay. Uh, as soon as you apply power, you should see this white light shining through. If you see that, it means your backlights are good. And with those jumpers in, it should stay on you know, permanently. If you had problems where your backlights were failing after a few minutes, you could put the jumpers in and run it and then see if the light stays on. If it does, then you know that the power supply and the backlight inverters are good and that you actually have a mainboard issue. This is also a good chance to take your meter and just check that the other voltages on the power supply are correct and present. So I got it set to DC. Now let's use the chassis for ground. Because you just find an empty screw hole and just drop the negative probe in there. And we can go through and we can probe the connections. There's a standby, which we know we have. There's the turn on voltage. We can go down here and check for our voltages. So you got a 12.4 volts, which is close enough. It should be 13, but that's pretty normal half a volt out. And you can go through and just compare them. It's the little graph right there. It shows you what each pin should be and make sure that they're all present and correct. If they're all good, you know for sure you've got a main board issue and you can go ahead and replace the main. So after we got our jumpers in and we've checked our voltages, if any of the voltages that are marked here are missing, that's a good sign, you know, the power supply is defective. If you see like the 12 volt line is missing or anything like that, or the 13 volt line, sorry, in this case, that means that the main board is not going to get the voltage it needs, it's not going to function. So if you have any missing voltages, 
or if the backlights don't fire up, again, that means your power supply is bad. If everything looks good and your backlights fire with the main disconnected, go ahead and replace your mainboard. And you can go onto our website, shopjimmy.com, search your mainboard number and find a replacement. Okay, so some of you are going to be asking, you know, you've got a similar TV but the power supply is not quite the same, will this work? And the answer is yes, but you might need to do things a little bit differently. You, you can try doing it and see what happens, but just to make sure before you stop firing around putting jumper wires in, it's best to check a couple of things. And one of the first things that we want to check is that the power on off pin. Some TVs use a voltage that you have to short to ground rather than adding a voltage from the standby like we're doing on this one. So we can go to pin one and check that on off pin. And as you can see, we have no voltage there. If on the other hand, it looked like that and had five volts, we would know that it would be a, a pin we have to short to ground. And you can look down and find a ground connection on there and just put the jumper from the on off pin to ground. But in this case, we have zero volts, so we know we have to take our standby voltage and jump it over. And then for the on-off, uh, the inverter, again, similar, usually it's gonna need anywhere between three and five volts. Usually I wanna put a resistor in there when I do it. And you can jump it from the standby voltage on that connector over to this one if necessary, if it doesn't have the five volt detect line. And on this TV, once you get the the first jumper put in to turn the power supply on, the 5 volt detect line comes up, and then you can jump that over to the on off inverter pin to turn the backlights on. Most power suppliers use a pretty similar system. Uh, you can either jump a 5 volt line from the main connection over to the inverter on off pin, or if it has 5 volts like this one does, you can jump that over. If you're not sure, you can call in and talk to our techs, and they can help you out and tell you what to do. Don't go playing around if you're unsure, or if you're not sure the voltage is involved, or you don't have a way to check, you might end up damaging yourself or the TV. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at shopjimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comments section below, or call our award-winning customer service team at the number on your screen. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends and help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.